What's up, everybody? Big, big facts. Yo, man. So, I go on Yahoo News, and I'm looking at Yahoo Sports, and he's talking about Ryan Garcia test positive for ban PD. Garcia insisted he was innocent. Boxing, it's no secret that boxing is a corrupt sport, man. So, anything can happen. You see fake news. If I was Donald Trump... I need more steroids. I'm addicted. Uh, the glove does not fit. I'm calling him OJ Ryan nowadays. But you know, if he did do it, if he is guilty, this guy wrote a very interesting post. Right here, Paul. That would explain why Ryan Garcia came in heavy. Didn't want to lose those pounds to make weight. So, he says, for those of you who don't understand how this works, here it is. VADA is the Voluntary Anti-Doping Association. The athletes voluntarily submit to be tested by them and are held accountable to the same protocols as Olympic athletes, which is a far more strict protocol than most state boxing commissions run. The testing is the same testing that WADA, USADA, and the rest do. This is not testing that produces results in a few minutes or a couple of hours. This testing takes three to seven days to provide full results. And I think Ryan knew that. Hence Fridays and Saturdays samples not producing results until yesterday or today. This process runs as quickly as it possibly can. Also understand that most of these substances are easily masked early in the training camp when fighters are well hydrated. That would explain why Ryan kept passing. He passed the Vita test early because he wasn't training that hard y'all and he was well hydrated. They became they become much more difficult to cover up when the fighter gets closer to fight weight because the last pounds to come off are water weight dehydration less liquid in the body harder to hide banned substances so he could have been doing this for six months but only got caught the day before the fight at his lowest weight Another issue here is his contention it was from a supplement he used, except the substances found are injected, not oral. Damn, he was taking a needle. This isn't a case of some random substance eaten in tainted meat or through a tainted supplement. Cantaloupe and his claim of tainted beef. Canelo, he meant to say Canelo. Canelo and his claim of tainted beef was an outright lie and he knew it. This was inter intentional. This was intentional. Kind of explains the weight miss and weirdness. Hmm. So those 143 pounds didn't help. He came in at 143 and, and, and as we saw Ryan lost a tremendous amount of weight uh during the last couple of days before the fight as you can saw you saw, we saw his cheeks becoming thin and all that and he got up to 143 pounds he lost you know he got up to 143 supposed to have been 140 and that's when he didn't pass the vada testing at 143 so all throughout the training camp he was passing the test but like but like this art but like this comment says when he started losing the liquid out of his body that's when those substances show up in the body and Ryan didn't want to make, Ryan thought he could get away with it. 
because he didn't make weight. Turns out 143 still exposed you. If this is true. And that's it for me, man. Big, big facts.